Hey there folks, all shot here, and today we're gonna to do a let's play of Ark Survival Evolved. It's one of them uh, newfangled open world survival games. I'm sure you guys are quite familiar with them, as we do play the Long Dark quite regularly on this channel. And that's definitely one of those fangled um, <laughs> survival games. Uh, but this one here, Ark, it's all about dinosaurs. So you're, I guess, a caveman or, or cavewoman or something like that. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of dinosaurs around, and you can craft things as you would expect, right? <laughs> now this game is friggin new and on early access, and because of that, the optimization is absolutely horrible. <laughs> it's running below friggin 20 frames a second, and uh, I'll show you the graphic settings I got set on right now. So it's mostly medium and low, to be honest, and I'm still getting really crap frame rates, right? Uh, I just pooped. By the way, you can poop in this game. <laughs> and you can pick it up. Let's see. Here we go. Human feces. Yes, let's pick that up. Why not? <laughs> Picking up our own poop. That's the way it works, all right? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's horribly optimized. I have to do a lot of funny business as far as the game's EXE in order to perform somewhat reasonably. Um, but even that is being very forgiving because, again, I'm running below 30 frames a second right now. Uh, and I'm running a, a 760 GTX or whatever and an i5 so you know admittedly my, my gear and my rig isn't the highest quality it could possibly be but you know I played games with this graphical fidelity before without too much issues but uh, yeah optimization definitely a bit of a concern for this game but anyways we're surviving I'm gonna try and collect some some more materials as you can see, it's kind of like Minecraft. When you start off, you gotta you gotta punch the trees to get the wood to build the cabin, so you can tame the horse. There's no horses in this game, by the way, guys. That's I'm just being silly here. <laughs> but anyways, we got some materials. Let's check our inventory, see if we can craft anything here. Nope, not quite. So let's keep hunting. I guess I'll, I'll show you guys around too. Show you some of the dinosaurs. It is kind of the. Uh, the main attraction of this game, after all, as we can see, we got a couple of these giant tortoises, some prehistoric tortoises here. Again, I highly apologize for the crappy frame rates, guys. This is the best I can do. I try setting the graphics to an even lower setting for better frame rates, but it just looks like ass. It looks worse than Minecraft, any lower than this, right? <laughs> but anyways, here's a big old Brontosaurus. Man, this game does a great job at scaling you know when you when you're right next to these dinos you really get a sense of the immensity of their size it's it's pretty impressive i gotta say this is definitely one of the most impressive aspects of uh arc is the brontosaurus to be honest these these guys are cool these guys are really really cool <laughs> uh definitely not high enough level to take these these big old dinos uh on quite yet you can level up in this game, by the way, but we'll talk more about that because I do have a, uh, I do have planned an impression for this game in the future. Um, right now, we're just doing a less play of it because I haven't really played a whole lot of it, so there's really not that much I can say objectively about the game. Just kind of discovering this with you guys pretty much right now, which is grabbing as much stuff as we possibly can as we go. Um, I was actually supposed to upload an Axiom Verge uh, impression today. But unfortunately, listening back to the recording, I didn't really really like how it turned out. So I'll be re-recording that today, and I'll be uploading that tomorrow. So tomorrow, you can expect an, uh, an impression of Axiom Verge. Uh, whoops, I just crafted two pickaxes. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but yeah, you can expect a new impression uh, on a game tomorrow is what I'm trying to say. We got ourselves a nice uh, pickaxe, so let's pickaxe some wood. I think that's a good idea. But uh, yeah, I'll also be doing an impression on this game while I play more of it, uh, of course. And that will obviously come sometime this week or early next week. And of course, we'll be uploading more Long Dark Let's Plays. You know, as usual. <laughs> it's definitely a staple of this game. Uh, we got a couple of trees here. As you can see, you can actually kind of uh, chop them down to your heart's content. It's not quite as impressive looking as, say, the forest, though, the way it chops down, but whatevs, whatevs, it works. You can also pickaxe these rocks and uh, get some materials from them as well. Some flints, you know. 
All right, and they get destroyed kind of funny lookingly, but <laughs> and there you go. Uh, anyways, let's keep looking for some more materials. Oh, oh, he's not a friendly, and he just poisoned us. That's that's not a good thing, guys. <laughs> let's run away um, because poison is bad, and we could really use a bite to eat uh, as well. And we still have our friend following. We might die. I'm just saying, we might die. <laughs> <laughs> already oh god this is not good all right we'll fight him screw it we got nothing to lose at this point and we did and we did oh my well let's try that again let's try that again and hopefully we'll be a little bit more successful first thing you do in this game is just spam the pickup key there's rocks and shrubbery and berries and all that kind of stuff all around so it's pretty easy to get materials at least simple materials when you first start off probably punch a couple of trees so you start uh, getting some wood I think your health does regenerate as long as your stats are okay so it's okay to lose a little bit of blood punching your trees at least in the beginning pretty cool pretty nifty but I wouldn't take my advice too seriously, guys. Like I say, I'm not very experienced at this game at all. <laughs> not at all. But there's dinosaurs, and I do like me my uh, I do like me some survival games. So definitely pretty good fit. Oh, we leveled up. Very nice. Wonderful. Now, when you level up, you can actually increase your stats as well. We're gonna increase our food stat. And you can also pick a new recipe to learn, which is pretty nifty, I think. Um, let's craft, let's, let's learn how to make pants. Learn Ingram, that's what they call it in this game. Uh, let's see, we can make a pickaxe, which we need, so we'll make that. Because we lost our old one, because we died. I'm a noob, what can I say? <laughs> Anyways, it's starting to get a little bit dark, so we gotta start collecting more materials so we start making ourselves a torch uh, and I just farted <laughs> I love that about this game Where, where's our poo all right well it's not around whatever I don't care about it that much let's cut ourselves down another tree and we're it's getting dark pretty quick right now uh, let's see if we have enough for a torch because I think we need one right now nope what are we missing we're missing flints Alright, so we gotta mine some minerals from the looks of it. As you can see, it's pretty standard issue uh, survival game, I think. You got your hunger, your thirst, your energy and health and all that stuff. And you have to collect materials to build things to survive. And... But there's dinosaurs! There's dinosaurs. And you know what? The visuals are actually pretty nice, I have to say. Um, and I, like I said, I'll show you once again. My settings are... I just farted again. <laughs> um, my settings are mostly medium, some on low, just a couple on high, right? So, uh, once this game gets further updated... Oh, poop. Let's pick that up. Why not? It makes good fertilizer. Once this game's better optimized, uh, I think the game will be a lot better looking, obviously, because I can turn the graphics up a lot higher. And I'm pretty excited about that, actually. I think this game has a lot of promise, but... Again, limited experience. I wouldn't take this uh, as a review by any means. But again, I will definitely be doing an impression on this game very, very soon. Uh, well, we got enough materials for our torch, so let's make that. We definitely need it. And do we have enough? Yes, we do have enough materials for a hatchet as well. Wonderful. Excellent. Good, good, good. Now we got our torch, we got a little bit of light, and that'll tank our frame rates even more, below 20. Wonderful, it's just what I wanted. Not even being sarcastic, I'm being really sarcastic, actually. Uh, anyways, let's chop down some more trees, because wood's good. Choppity chop chop. Oh god. Good thing falling trees don't actually hurt you. A lot of these giant turtles. I showed you the Brontosaurus. I've yet to see a T-Rex or any Velociraptors yet. Um, I think they're probably closer inwards into the dungeon. Or not the dungeon. <laughs> Sorry, the jungle is what I meant to say. Which is essentially like dungeons in these kind of games. It might as well be. Oh, well, we found a Triceratops. That's pretty neat. Let's turn on our torch. 
so we can get a better look. Oh, we're really hungry, so we better start eating as well. There we go. We need more food than that, though. It looks like a lot of these dinosaurs are pretty benign, unless you piss them off, essentially, but we won't be doing that quite yet. Uh, let's collect some berries and all that kind of good stuff, because we're getting really hungry. We're getting really hungry, actually. Oh, good. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's not a friendly. He will screw you up, let me tell you. He'll mess you up real, real nice. Sorry about the lousy frame rate, for, uh, guys. <laughs> really. Uh, it's not really my fault. I'm, I'm also testing shadow play as well. NVIDIA's somewhat new recording software or whatnot. Oh, God. Friggin' frame rate just tanks so much here. Uh, so this is also kind of a new thing that I'm doing right here. Well, this guy won't leave us alone, so we, I guess we should fight him. Oh, God. He got friends. Get out. Oh, we did. Well, I think I'm going to end the Let's Play here, guys. Um, pretty interesting, I have to say. Pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to playing more of it, of course. Uh, but if you enjoy this in any way, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll bring you more videos just like this. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a Axiom Verge impression uh, up and ready for you folks. Then we'll follow it up by more Long Dark Let's Plays, probably. Uh, or I might have an impression on this game up uh, fairly soon coming this week as well. So hopefully you guys will look forward to that. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to get out of here before this game melts my computer. Because of its absolutely horrible optimization. But anyways, thanks for watching. Alder shoutouts.